James Jean has mastered surrealism. From his sculptures to his paintings, he is able to capture character narratives with deep iconographic meanings. Each work tells an in-depth story with many layers of detail. Uh, my name is James Jean. I'm an artist from LA, and uh, this installation is at Bridge House. So we have a bunch of older pieces and newer pieces that represent uh, characters that I've done throughout my career. Uh, we have a monumental bronze piece in the back and uh, some smaller versions uh, out of different materials. And yeah, excited to finally actually have my first art show since COVID. The magnum opus of the show is a 600 kilo or 2,000 pound bronze of slingshot. Its magnificence cannot be outweighed by its meaning. So yeah, tell us about the slingshot piece. Sure, yeah, so the slingshot references all sorts of different things. Um, you know, David and Goliath, um, Hammurabi's Code of Ethics, an eye for an eye. But I think uh, for myself, the slingshot represents uh, the self-sacrifice that's required to achieve your ambitions. And so I designed the character in 2015. The image just came to my mind, and that's sort of what happens to my best work, I think. The image just sort of appears um, fully formed. And yeah, the idea of a boy using his eyeball as a projectile just seemed like a perfect metaphor just for you know, my own life and my own um, uh, ambitions. And you know, what began as a simple drawing has you know, transformed into like a monumental bronze sculpture, which is you know, super amazing to see after all these years. Tonight, I'm in Hollywood for an event hosted by Avant Arts leaders, Curtis and Christian. They are showcasing the work they've produced for their premier artist, James Jean. Yeah, they reached out to me, and I think at the time, they had already begun working with some um, really amazing artists. And um, of course, I just was very excited to, an honor to be invited to, you know, collaborate and, and to do uh, an addition with them. And uh, yeah, they do such a good job with, uh, you know, collector relations and building that community. Um, and also with Christian at the time being, you know, I think he was in his early 20s maybe, you know, that having that kind of young energy and being passionate about art and being plugged into the art world, I think felt like a really great match for me because I'm just, a reclusive artist, usually just stuck in the studio. I don't like to think about you know, all these things related to commerce, but yeah, it was a very good partnership and it's, it's been working out really well over the years. Yeah, all, all the mediums you work in is so impressive, from the paintings to the sculptures, to ceramics, to glass. Yeah. Um, it's, it's been so, so cool to watch, sort of you express yourself in all these different ways. Yeah, I really want to take the drawing and kind of transform it into something that's never been seen before. And so it's all about just beginning with that simple idea of, of a sketch. You know, that sketch is like a very pure representation of what's in your mind's eye. And then by using technology and, or in a lot of traditional uh, techniques, we're able to create just amazing works um, of art that feels like plucked straight from the recesses of my brain you know, and made manifest, made in, in metal and marble and, and all these uh, very precious materials. Well, thank you so much for doing the interview. Is there anything you'd want to shout out or? Uh, you know, I have uh, an NFT auction ending in a few minutes. So okay, cool. I'm curious to see how it's doing yeah, at, yeah, at 6 p.m. So okay, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's see. Do it, do it, yeah. <laughs> let's see. All right, we've got eight, eight minutes left. Oh, eight minutes wow. left. Yeah, so it's 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, what let's platform see. is it on? Okay. It's on Super Air. Oh, Super Air. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's look it up and see what's going you're, on. You're waiting to see if everything's sold or like where you went. Well, at. how they do the auction is once there's a bid, the auction is extended for 15 minutes. Okay. And if there's another bid, it's another 15 minutes. So. Yeah. Oh, wait, um, it just. Uh, time extending auction. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, so it's at 27.5 ETH. Yeah, amazing. So, amazing. Congrats. Yeah, there's been a bunch of bids. Yeah, so cool. So, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so actually the, this piece here um, is a digital animation, which I almost see as like 
a moving painting in a way. So it's almost like a, a place between like sculpture and animation and painting where, um, you know, I'm applying all the, you know, the techniques of like perspective and, you know, creating illusion of space and texture and, um, and having that extend into the fourth dimension of time, you know, because I'm 2D drawing to 3D sculpture, and now it's 4D animation. Yeah, I mean, the details are always so spot on, from the embossments of your prints to oh, just right. sort of everything. They're, it's just amazing to be a collector and sort of have all those moments and all those little details that you can just go sort of soak in over time. Yeah, yeah, I love being able to get up close to work and appreciating also step back and yeah. enjoy the whole. So yeah, yeah, all those distances are really important. So, yeah, totally, totally. It comes across in the digital work too. So that's, that's amazing, that's amazing. I'm David the Collector. That was my interview with James Jean. Thank you for watching. Check out my Instagram at David Maxwell and follow me, subscribe on YouTube and like the video. Thank you, have a good one.